Taz, it was an emotional day here in Mississauga, and earlier I was inside the mosque and witnessed the service where many were remembering Shaquille Ashraf, the great family man and friend. And in that whirlwind of sorrow was the question, why did this happen to him? Allah. Hundreds prayed and mourned inside the Jame Mosque for 38-year-old Shaquille Ashraf today. He was a very kind-hearted person and uh, he'll be remembered forever. We lost uh, an innocent human being during this violence. During his funeral, loved ones and the Mississauga community paid tribute to a loving father of two, a husband and a popular man who enjoyed cricket and his job. Uh, the Ashraf family, of course, uh, lived here in Mississauga at one point, has deep roots here uh, and loved by many. And it was very important to come here with the community uh, to mourn with them and to grieve with them this very tragic loss. Ashraf is being described as a beacon to his community and loved ones, but many of them are still scratching their heads about his death. A Shrine of Flowers remain at MK Auto Repairs in Milton today, where the 38-year-old auto shop owner was shot and killed Monday afternoon by a suspect who murdered a Toronto police officer an hour before. The suspect was killed in Hamilton later that day, prompting an SIU investigation. He's my, I don't, I don't express my feelings, he's my buddy, like we all together all the time barbecue. Today, Mohammed Umar and Faison Nayaz say they were friends with Shaquille for a few years and say the suspect worked at the shop. I heard stories like um, the suspect worked for Shaquille like 10 days and Shaquille like fired him because of his, his like unprofessional attitude or I don't know the exact thing, but the person is threatening him, but Shaquille don't take him seriously. And then the motive is, I mean, pretty much unclear. And why would he do such a devastating thing? The gunman also shot two other people in that very same auto body shop who friends say were employees at the business. Today, Halton police tell us that one victim remains in hospital and the other one has been released. From Mississauga, Jason Guidola, CHCH News.